grade 10 students, I'm Angelito Paluncio, your math teacher for this school year. So your first lesson for this quarter is sequences and series. Under sequences and series, we have arithmetic sequence, arithmetic series, geometric sequence, geometric series, Fibonacci sequence, harmonic sequence. So it means you will encounter four types of sequences in your grade 10. The arithmetic sequence, geometric sequence, Fibonacci sequence, and harmonic sequence. And under series, you will encounter two series in your grade 10. The arithmetic series and geometric series. So the question is, what is sequence and what is series? Now, let us proceed to a sequence. So, a sequence is a succession of a numbers in specific orders. So, let me give you an example of a sequence. Let's say our example is 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. So, its number in a sequence are called terms. And the terms are formed according to some fixed rules or property. So, what is our fixed rule in this given example? That's right. It's multiple of 2. So, these sequence are arranged as the first term, the second term, the third term, and so on. So, our first term is denoted as a sub 1. A sub 1 refers to the first term. Next, our A sub 2 is refers to the second term. Next, a sub 3 refers to the third term, and so on. So a sequence with a definite number of terms is what we call finite sequence. In a finite sequence, the first term of a sequence and the last term of a sequence are clearly identified. Let me give you an example of finite sequence. So let's let's say 1 3 5 7 and 9. It is finite because the first term and the last term are clearly identified. Let's have another 1 4, 9, 16, and 25. Again, this is example of finite sequence because the first term and the last term are clearly identified. Otherwise, a sequence with no definite number of terms is what we call infinite sequence. Now, let us proceed in this given problem. Find the next two terms of each sequence. So the first sequence is 25, 17, 9, 1, and the next two terms. So what do you think will be the rules or the patterns in this given sequence? That's right. We subtract 8 in each preceding term. So look, 25 minus 8, we have 17. 17 minus 8, we have 9. 9 minus 8, we have 1. So, 1 minus 8, we have negative 7. Then, negative 7 minus 8 is negative 15. Hence, our next two terms are negative 7 and negative 15. You got it? Okay, let's proceed to the second sequence. Our second sequence is 2, 9, 16, then 23. Look at the pattern. What do you think will be our rule in this sequence? That's right. We add 7 in each preceding term. So look, 2, pro 2 plus 7, we have 9. 9 plus 7, we have 16. 16 plus 7, we have 23. 
23 plus 7, we have 30. And 30 plus 7, that's right, 37. Therefore, our next two terms are 30 and 37. Gets? Okay, let's proceed to the third sequence. So, in our given sequence, 5, 10, 15, 20, what do you think will be our rules or our pattern? Exactly, it is multiples of 5. Therefore, the next two terms are 25 and 30. You got it? Again, these are the example of a sequence. How about if we have this problem? Alright, the first five term of sequence defined by the given function. So our function is f of n is equal to 2n minus 1. So all we need to do is substitute the first five number in variable n. So let's do this. 2n less 1. Let's substitute 1 in our variable n. So 2 times 1, we have 2 less 1. Therefore, 2 minus 1 is 1. So therefore, our first term is 1. Next, 2 multiplied by 2 less 1. So 2 times 2, we have 4 less 1. So 4 minus 1, we have 3. So therefore, the next term is 3. Next, 2 times 3 less 1. So 2 times 3, 6. Minus 1, we have 5. So therefore, the third term is 5. Next. 2 times 4, less 1. So, 2 times 4, we have 8 less 1. We have 7. So, for the fourth term, we have 7. Next, 2 times 5, less 1. So, 2 times 5 is 10. Less 1, we have 9. Therefore, for the fifth term, we have 9. So these are the first 5 terms in the given function f of n is equal to 2n minus 1. You got it? Okay, let's proceed to another example. For the second example, f of n is equal to 3n plus 2. Again, we are looking for the first five terms of a sequence defined by the given function f of n is equal to 3n plus 2. So let's do this. 3n plus 2. Let's substitute 1. 3 multiplied by 1 plus 2. So 3 times 1, we have 3. Plus 2, we have 5. So therefore, the first term is 5. Next, 3 multiplied by 2 plus 2 is equal to 3 times 2, 6 plus 2 it is equal to 8. Therefore, the second term is 8. Next, 3 times 3 plus 2. What is 3 times 3? 9. 9 plus 2 we have 11. Therefore, the third term is 11. Next, for the fourth term, we have 3 times 4 plus 2. 3 times 4 is 12. Plus 2, we have 14. Therefore, the fourth term is 14. Next, for the last term or the for the fifth term, 3 multiplied by
divide by 5 plus 2. So, 3 times 5 is 15. Plus 2, we have 17. So, our last term or the fifth term is 17. So, these are the first 5 terms in the given function f of n is equal to 3n plus 2. Yes? Now, let us proceed to a series. By definition, a series is the indicated sum of the terms of a sequence. So, a series can be denoted by S sub N, where N refers to the number of terms. So, let's have an example of a series. So, let's say our sequence is 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. So all we need to do is get the sum of this term. So S sub 5, since we have 5 terms, so 1 plus 3, 4, 4 plus 5, 9, 9 plus 7 is 16. 16 plus 9 is 25. Therefore, the series of this sequence is 25. You got it? Okay. So, let's have another example. Let's say our, our, our sequence is 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 plus the ellipsis up to S sub 8. So what do you think will be the series? So since there is ellipsis, we will list the sequence up to 8 terms. Okay? We we'll write it 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 plus 12 plus 14 plus 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8 terms now. So let's add this. Um, 4 plus 6, we have 10. 2 plus 8, 10. 14 plus 16 is 30. 22. So 30 plus 10, 40 plus 10, 50 plus 22 is 72. Therefore, the series for this sequence S sub 8 is 72. Okay? So that is a series. How about if we have these given problems? Write in expanded form, then find its value. So the summation of 2n from n is equal to 1 to n is equal to 6. So 2n here is what we call general rule. n is equal to 1 is what we call lower index. And 6 here is what we call the upper index. So let's solve this. 2 multiplied by 1 plus 2 multiplied by 2 plus 2 multiplied by 3 plus 2 multiplied by 4 plus 2 multiplied by 5 plus 2 multiplied by 6. So let's simplify. 2 times 1, we have 2. Plus 2 times 2, we have 4. Plus 2 times 3, we have 6 plus 2 times 4, we have 8. Plus 2 times 5, we have 10. Plus 2 times 6, we have 12. We have 2 plus 4, 6. 6 plus 6, 12. 12 plus 8, 20. 20 plus 10, 30. 30 plus 12, we have 
42. So the answer for the given problem is 42. Now, let's have another example. Let's say the summation of 2n plus 1 from n is equal to 1 to n is equal to 4. So let's solve this. Um, 2 multiplied by 1 plus 1 plus 2 multiplied by 2 plus 1. Next, plus 2 multiplied by 3 plus 1. And plus 2 multiplied by 4 plus 1. Okay, let's simplify. What is 2 times 1 plus 1? Okay, we have 2 times 1, 2 plus 1, we have 3. Plus, 2 times 2, 4, plus 1, we have 5. Plus, 2 times 3, plus 1, so 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1, 7. Plus, 2 times 4, 8, plus 1, we have 9. Next, let's simplify, 3 plus 5, 8. 8 plus 7, 15, plus 9, 24. So therefore, the summation of the given problem is 24. Okay? Again, these are the example of a series. So we're done! I hope you have enjoyed the lesson for this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more updates.